Virgin Media vs Talk Talk, the broadband and the TV. At the moment we're changing over from Talk Talk to Virgin, so we're in the fortunate position of having both the uh, Virgin TV and the Talk Talk TV. And also we have the Virgin router and also the Talk Talk router. So I did some tests, compared the two. Speed test gave me the following results. You can see here Virgin Media at the top and Talk Talk at the bottom. Now look at the download speeds. 6 meg compared with 71 meg. 6 meg for Virgin Media, 71 for Talk Talk. Upload speeds, okay, I can expect about that for the advertised rate. But for a 100 meg service, I'm getting 6 meg. And for a 76 meg service, I'm getting 71 meg. I can live with 71, but I can't live with 6. So I compared it on other services. And we got 5 meg and 12 meg. Now this was at 528 on a Wednesday evening. So I thought it only fair to do some tests on the following day. So I began just after lunch at 1250, then at 1420. 1500, 1700, 1750, 1805, 1830, 1905, 1925 and 2200 hours. So quite a variation on the day on the Virgin Media service but in Virgin Media's defence I did ring them up and they said they did have network issues and they were adding extra capacity in December which is about six weeks away. So let's go over and do some side-by-side -side tests of the TV service. Okay here we have side-by-side -side Virgin Media and Talk Talk with uh, Virgin Media and their box and Talk Talk with their box. So let's have a look how the handsets work. So to get the um, here we go to get the uh, the uh, channel guide press home and then we press ok and ok and eventually we get that and to get it on the talk talk box we press guide and that populates Okay, so let's look at these side by side. So uh, I'll bring up the menu by pressing home on the Virgin Media box and guide on the Talk Talk box at the same time. So here we go. And uh, of course I need to go across to that one on there. So you can see the Talk Talk one has already arrived there and Virgin Media is thinking about it. Okay, let's go down to another channel. I think I like the looks of the Gadget Show. So let's scroll down. We're down on the Gadget Show. Yes, we are. So let's press OK on both of those and see what happens. Okay. So we got the gadget show. Okay, so let's have a look at the program search facility. Let's imagine that I like X Factor and I've not seen it for several weeks and I want to do a marathon catch up. So uh, let's have a look on uh, the Talk Talk box first of all and we'll see how easy it is to find the uh, the most recent Talk Talk episodes. I'll start the clock running and see how long it takes me. So first of all, I'll press the, I'll press the U view button and I'll scroll across to search. There it is. And uh, let's have a look, see if it recognises X. Here we go. So I'll do a search for that, and there it is, X Factor. So I'll select that one, loaded, and a presto. We've got quite a number of live shows, if they were live, um, going back 
quite a, a few weeks. Uh, eight episodes in total, as it says so, right in the bottom corner there. Okay. Okay, now I might have skewed that a slight bit because I did practice uh, with the X Factor earlier on. So uh, let's see what it's like with, uh, say, Coronation Street. Okay, start the timer again. Press the Give View button. Scroll across to search. There we go. And then let's go for C O R. So it finds it. Oh, that's strange. Is there. So let's have a look. Coronation Street. 22 episodes. Uh -huh. So we can go quite a way back. If you're into Coronation Street, that'll be quite handy. But if you're not into Coronation Street like me, then it's no use whatsoever. But you can see how long it took me. Okay, so I've moved across to the Virgin Media Box. I'll start the timer. And for this one, we go on the, the Home button, right at the top. And uh, for that, then we go down to Catch Up and Search. And let's use the keypad. brings up the X Factor. So I'll scroll across to that, I'll choose it and all we've got are the X Factor show and the results show from the weekend. So just two programs to choose from. Okay, let's try Coronation Street. So catch up, search, see Here we go, Coronation Street. Oh, wrong one, across that, down and Coronation Street. So we've got quite a few there, let's see how many. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So basically it looks like a week's worth. So the Coronation Street programs from the last week as opposed to, I think it was 22 episodes on the Talk Talk box. Okay, so I have found a way where you can find multiple programs on uh, the Virgin Media box, and it's uh, this way. So I'll go to the home, and we'll go to Catch Up, and we'll go to Channels. Now, I did try to find it on ITV, so let's go to the ITV player, uh, and all we've got are the programs from the previous week. So if we go to Saturday, and we want the X Factor, X being right at the end of the alphabet, nearly, we've got to scroll all the way down to the X Factor and uh, as you can see it's just the one show okay so let's go back to this again and catch up go down to channels and we'll look at the BBC app so the BBC iPlayer so uh, one program that I do like is have I got news for you so it does take a, a while to load. Let's uh, watch the timer and see how long it takes. Give you some idea. And when it does eventually load, 
um, you can see how many programs are in storage for you. Now this is down to the fact that it's the BBC iPlayer, uh, which is obviously stored by the BBC. So uh, once we're there, let's go across to search and you can search using uh, the keypad there or what I've done, I've already done a search, have I got news for you? And you can see there that it's got one, two, three, four episodes already, uh, already there waiting for me. So that's one way you can get back episodes, unfortunately not on ITV, but on the BBC using the, uh, the online apps through your Virgin Media Box. Okay, here's another quick little comparison. I'm watching BBC One at the moment, the news is on, and I suddenly realise I want to watch ITV. Now, I think if I press number three on the boxes, it'll go to ITV. Let's see what happens. Virgin Media on the left, Talk Talk on the right. Press them both at the same time. Talk Talk responds. Virgin Media doesn't doesn't understand it. Here's another little uh, tip for you. Uh, both have a facility to switch off the television. Uh, you can program the remote control to switch off the television. Uh, on the Talk Talk one, it's pressing the TV button, and on the Virgin Media one, it's pressing the the off button and holding it down for five seconds. So here we go, I'll switch off the TV. Now, but bearing in mind that both program to uh, switch off our own TV, not, that's the one on the left, not the one on the right. So if I press the TV button, instantly the Talk Talk box switches off, or the Talk Talk remote switches off the TV. Switch it back on. And, uh, see what happens if I press the Virgin Media button. I've got to hold that down for five seconds and a presto that's turned it off as well. So uh, they're both good, they both uh, do the, uh, the same job, it just means you've got to hold it down for five seconds and then hold it down um, instantaneously to switch off the, uh, the, the Virgin Media box. So how quickly do the boxes respond to a channel change? So we have Virgin Media on the left and Talk Talk on the right. And I'll press the channel up button uh, on each box, on each remote control at the same time. Here we go. Talk Talk one marginally. Virgin Media one with that one. Okay, that was even Stevens and channel five. Oh, that didn't seem to work. Let me make sure I press them both at the same time. Yeah, equal. So not much between them. One one on one, the other one on another. So how long should it take them to uh, to warm up, so to speak? Well, let's switch them both on at the same time. Okay, that was uh, Talk Talk on the right, and here's Virgin Media on the left. Hmm. I know with Talk Talk, you can go in and uh, you can you can mess with the eco settings, so um, it can take longer for it to wake up, but it uses less electricity. Uh, with Virgin Media, it doesn't seem to have that facility, so it just takes a little bit longer to wake up. I suppose it's a bit like the old televisions with the, the valves in the olden days. Just kind of wait a little bit for it. Okay. So I hope that was useful in helping you decide which is best for you.